Marketing Director for Penmax Staffing. I'm Megan Buckinder. I'm the Director of Marketing for Rebel Advertising. I'm Brandon Welch, President and Chief of Strategy at Frank and Maven. So a very tangible question I get like every day is what should my advertising budget be? And what I always tell business owners is change the way you're thinking from for a second. Now, as far as overall dollars, you're going to be able to find an industry stat um, somewhere in a trade or something about what your industry used to spend, used to be spending. And if you want to grow faster than the average person, you probably need to be spending a little more than the average business, and that's certainly true if you're younger. But before you talk about marketing budget, let's talk about the goals of your marketing budget. And very simply, instead of thinking of every advertising dollar as the same, you need to decide what you're spending on customers that you're expecting to get today to stay alive, and we call that transactional advertising. Uh, that often comes in the form of search engine marketing, um, phone books, direct mail, newspaper, things that are quick, promotional in nature, often price driven or availability driven. And then, so that's one bucket. And the other bucket is relational, and that's dollars you're investing today so that tomorrow the masses um, will understand your company to be the one they think of first and feel the best about. And that's mm -hmm often wrapped in and labeled as top of mind awareness and you, you'll hear a dozen names for that, but um, that's relational marketing. I'm not expecting that person to come in and buy today because such a large percent of the population is not that in the market for that. So consider your buying cycle. If you're a restaurant, transactional marketing will get you by probably forever. If you are a home improvement or service-based company where people buy your product once every 10 years, for example, um, that's relational marketing. Understand there's such a small percentage of people in the market at any given time. You need to understand that and anticipate that that is a long-term thing. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say to somebody who asks about spending their marketing budget first? Where should I start? How should I? I always, well, we always kind of start with the research phase of everything because we want to know who your target audience is and you have to know who your target is really well, I think, in order to kind of build kind of a strategy around that. Um, a lot of times I think it's finding the balance between both of what you said, the relational and the transactional, um, because you need that brand awareness. So when they do need that service, because a lot of times if you are a service-based industry, you never know when your target market is going to need you. Um, so that brand awareness part is really important. Um, so we always kind of start with identifying your target market, finding out what a win is for you. So really setting those goals. Um, figuring out if it is like what kind of measurables that we can actually look and see. Um, a lot of times people will tell us, well, we're, we, we want to get everybody. And it's like, well, you, you're actually not getting everybody. There is a very specific person who um, wants what you have um, and let's find out that person and let's start there. Um, and then you can actually figure out how you can spend your marketing budget to actually get those people. Yeah, it's, we have a challenge at my company because we have two totally distinct audiences, so it's really important to think about which audience we're targeting which with, with which campaign, whether it's a business-to-business -business, um, campaign or a business-to-consumer or cus general customer campaign public um, because they're two completely different messages, two completely different um, methods to reach them the best. Um, so it's really important to sit down and think about what your audience, who your audience is, how what they're interested in, what their worries are, what their pain point is, um, how you can um, alleviate that pain for them and communicate. You know, a person doesn't necessarily can care that your company was founded in a certain year or um, what you do. Make sure you're communicating to their understanding of your service and what, um, how you can make their life better or how you can improve their, their situation with your service or product. Um, really just thinking through that message and the audience and targeting it specifically is really helpful. And I, you know, I've learned over the years that you may try something and it didn't work the first time, whether you think it's, um, you know, whether it's email marketing or anything we've talked about today, don't give up on it after the first week or month that you've tried it and oh, I'm not seeing anybody coming in, especially with the relational side, you have to remember, keep reminding yourself that you're not going to see an immediate return. Um, so be patient, be persistent, and keep those marketing uh, dollars going to where you think work. But you have to track as well to right. um, to make sure that those are being effective in the long term eventually. Mm -hmm. So be patient, but track, and, and don't be afraid to abandon if it's not ultimately working.